anniversary of the 27 July Korean War armistice. Now what looks like a very calm moment turned provocative within minutes with Kim Jong-un's latest threat targeting Washington and Seoul. North Korean leader Kim Jong-un says his country was ready to mobilize its nuclear deterrent in any future clash with the United States and South Korea. He threatened to wipe out South Korean forces with nuclear weapons in the event of a confrontation. Kim also alleged the new South Korean government of President Yoon suk yeol is led by confrontation maniacs, quote-unquote, and gangsters who have gone further than the previous South Korean conservative governments. He has accused Washington and Seoul of bringing the Korean Peninsula to the brink of war. The warning comes as Seoul and Washington prepare for their first large-scale joint military exercises in four years. This year's exercises to be held in late August and early September will include joint aircraft carrier strike drills and amphibious landing training. Earlier this week, the U.S. military held live fire drills using its advanced Apache helicopters stationed in the south for the first time since 2019. In his first appearance in public, U.S. military held live fire drills using its advanced Apache helicopters stationed in the south for the first time since 2019. In his first appearance in public in nearly three weeks, Kim Jong-un delivered one of his strong rhetorical attacks against South Korea and the United States. The North Korean leader has been stepping up his provocations this year. Pyongyang has fired off a record-breaking blitz of sanctions, busting weapons tests this year, including firing an intercontinental ballistic missile at full range for the first time since 2017. The All right, Shalom. This is Hara One, Ban Yasha Allah, of the Lions Den Camp. I want to say, Ka Halayim, La Yahawa, Ba Hashim Yahushai, Ba Hashim, Harakakwadash, Ma'amah, double honor to the elder apostles of JMS and the elders. Shalom to you, Aki, and Manakwati, and my children that believe in sincerity and truth around the four corners of the earth. Um, yeah, as you see, there's a sound of battle in the land. All the nations are ramping up for war. The prophecies are coming to pass, man. Um, now, there's one part, one piece of the puzzle is North Korea. All right, North Korea being the um, the watchdog or the pit bull for China, in which you have Pelosi on her way over there, or in the in, in Asia. Uh, the peninsula you know basically taunting China when she really has no reason to be over there besides making a bold statement that um, America still has some type of power or they can protect Taiwan uh, you know basically cause, causing a sedition or a divide over there you know the, um, the same routine America always does the same thing they did in the Middle East they show support for rebels or whoever's against the government and they they uh, support South Korea and the ones that don't so it creates a divide you know in that peninsula not South Korea Taiwan alright so now you have South Korea involved as well with North Korea so basically what we're seeing here is um, Revelation 17 or I think it's 18 let me get it real quick just so I can start it off with that <clears throat> this is Revelation 17 and 16 no, actually 15 and he saith unto me the waters which thou sawest where the whore sitteth are peoples and multitudes and nations and tongues man so not just here as a melting pot but America um, sticking their nose where they, they shouldn't be in everybody's business busybodies all around the world the hand by the earth right enlarging their desires as hell neither keeping at home so now they're going and um, messing with Taiwan when China is a supporter of North Korea and North Korea is like their pit bull they the watchdog for that area 
You know, it's kind of like the gatekeeper over there in Asia for China. All right. So now you have America provoking Russia with Ukraine. Now they're provoking China with Taiwan and provoking North Korea with South Korea making threats. All right. And also sanctions that they have on North Korea. So with this visit from Pelosi, that demon, her going over there, she can easily make that call through a Zoom call or something, through computer technology and all that. But now she wants to go over there just to make a statement. But she's always been against uh, China, ever since going back to the 1990s. She's always been against China. So now she's, um, you know, she's a pro at it. So they're sending her over there. Basically, the Biden administration, they're, they're saying they're against it. But it's the Democrats and those elites that got their hand in pushing this war. That's their three agendas. War, technological interruption, and uh, what was the other one? So-called climate change, meaning basically they're changing the climate. You know, keep it simple. But um, so this is part of that. This is their hand. You know, playing a part in it, conjuring up these wars, sending people like Pelosi up there, over there, because they don't make these decisions on their own. They, they're puppets. All right? So she go over there, cause a stir, just to make some noise. Like, yes, America's still in power. We still protect you, Taiwan. When China not playing, they saying, hey, man, you come over here, we're gonna shoot. they're going to shoot down her plane. Or whatever they can even flood the market with their with America's debt with bonds and cause America's currency to go to zero instantly. China, China can. Or they can have North Korea attack South Korea, or they could have China's army just go in there and just take Taiwan, just like Russia did with Ukraine. So it's a lot that could happen. China's response was, hey, just watch what happens. Now you got all, all of a sudden North Korea out of nowhere. Nobody bothering them. They just say they're ready. <laughs> it's clearly a united front, man, against uh, uh, Babylon, the daughter of Babylon, America. So those, those are the elites um, using the two horns from Revelation 13 Democrats and Republicans to uh, bring about the destruction of America. All right, just like World War One, World War Two, Vietnam, Esau had their hand in it. Revelation 17 and 17, uh, 16, and the ten horns which thou sawest upon the beast, basically the European Union of the European nations, that basically run these elites and uh, p politicians over here in America the decision makers these shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked alright so they're making America desolate and naked by raising the interest rates see they're attacking this place got a Biden changing all the policies taking the gun rights away which would ultimately um, diminish the constitution if they can take any parts of the guns away which I don't care about guns, but if they can take any part of the guns away, then that takes away from the Constitution. That's what they're going after. All right? So you got to know how to recognize the uh, hidden hand of these devils, man, these deceivers. And ignore the distractions, the fear buttons they keep pushing. All right? But this is real. North Korea, the war. You know, when they talk about war, um... That's them pushing for this war for America to be um, destroyed. And they want to lift China up as the new whore in their new world order. All right. When they want to control everything and turn everybody into this utopia uh, slash, uh, what would it be, cyborgs, you know. So, yeah, man, uh, let me get this. It says... And they shall hate the whore and shall make her desolate and naked and shall eat her flesh and burn her with fire, man. See? Causing America to be burned with fire. 
You know, they want to be able to hide in their bunkers while World War Three is kicking off on the earth. And their hopes is that they can control everybody and remake everybody in the future. Like on the Matrix. It says right here, understanding the China-North Korea relationship. China's support for North Korea dates back to the Korean War, 1950 to 1953. See, that's when Russia and America split the Korean Peninsula. America took South Korea and Russia took uh, North Korea, but China became a, a, the main supporter, literally, for um, North Korea. They have no food over there and everything, man. They eating uh, seaweed from the, from the ocean for dinner and breakfast and lunch. All right, so they, um, now, all right, check this out. It says, um, why did why did Korea sp split into North and South, man? You know, because basically those Koreans, a lot of them are Moabites and a lot of them are um, Ammonites, all right? They mingled in. I think they're mostly uh, uh, Moabites, all right, under China. So Japan fought wars to conquer Korea, all right? That's the uh, Ammonites. They were trying to conquer Korea. But after World War II, Japan lost all power over it, right? Because they got destroyed, well, um, wasted with Hiroshima and Nagasaki. When the U.S. came in um, with NATO, the establishment of NATO, and the spearhead being America, and they, they dropped into the nuclear age, by bringing fire from the sky, according to uh, Revelations, all right, 13, and also 17 and 18. Well, 17. So now it says here, um, after which the U.S. and the Soviets, see, Russia and America, divided it along the 38th par parallel. Korea was split into North and South Korea when Japan was forced to surrender all of their colonies to the Soviets and the United States after losing World War II. So they took it from Japan. All right, Japan had power over it, and they took it from Japan. All right, so a lot of them are Ammonites, and a lot of them are um, Moabites over there. They've been mingled in. So they they still at war. They never really ended the war. They just had a... Um, it says, is the North and South Korea still at war? However, no peace treaty was ever signed. See, they never signed a peace treaty. And the two Koreas are technically still at war. Engaged in a frozen conflict in April 2018, the leader of North Korea and the South Korea met at the, at the DMZ and uh, demolition zone and agreed to work toward a treaty to formally end the Korean War. But they can't because they, they're getting divided because America trying to keep them divided, man. You see that? And what's going to happen is China and North Korea is going to obliterate, wind up obliterating South Korea, man, with, no, with nukes. And China can take on America. And then you're going to have, they mess around, going to try to take Taiwan. All right. So they're provoking them into this, man. All right, so let's read this article real quick from, from King, Kim Jong-un, all right, that damn cheese-eating, um, whatever he is, man, he's an Ammonite or a Moabite, man, I can't tell. But, he, yeah, he, he got addiction with eating cheese and shit. They say he got gout. <laughs> it's just crazy, man. You know somebody wicked, they got addiction to cheese and shit. Having it, ton, uh, pounds of it imported and it can't stop eating and shit. North Korea, North Korean leader Kim Jong Un declared a ceremony marking the 69th anniversary of the Korean armistice that he is ready to fight the U.S. and eliminate South Korea. Look at that man, they're ready. They're saying they're ready. 
All right, they were weak before. July 27, 1953 marks the date on which an agreement signed by allies and leaders of the North Korea and South sides of the peninsula led to a ceasefire bringing a bloody three-year war to an inconclusive stalemate. All right, so yeah, man, this thing could kick off and Pelosi and them just stoking the fire because it's not moving quick enough for them. They want to go ahead and, and get their new world order. But this thing is going going according to the Lord's time, not according to their time. All right. U.S. imperialists, check this out. U.S. imperialists are pushing the South Korean authorities into a suicidal confrontation, said Kim Jong-un on Wednesday. See, the imperialists that's in America, they're, they're allegedly pushing, which we know is true, they're pushing for um, suicidal confrontation. All right? Because there is no America. It's the United States. It's been hijacked. Never was a place called America. It's, a, it's an American dream. It's a dream. It's an idea. All it is is oppressors ruling, ruling over sheeple. That's it. And a, a mirage. You know? So, yeah, now they're talking missiles. All the nations. Here you go. I'm going to get that. Yep. Brought this out at the beginning of the week, Jeremiah 51 and 1. Thus say, if Yahweh, behold, I will raise up against Babylon and basically to America today. All right. <clears throat> the mystery Babylon. And against them that dwell in the midst of them that rise up against me, a destroying wind. All right. So America and all the wicked people that are in this place and its proxy nations. And I will send unto Babylon fanners. So that word fanners means uh, enemies. So the Lord established these enemies and sending them against America now. That shall fan her, meaning scatter her, man. Scatter her power, scatter her with the missiles. And shall empty her land. So there's not going to be anybody here. It's going to be destroyed, turned into a, 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 sea, a sea of fire, lava. For in the day of trouble... They shall be against her round about. See, when the Lord brings the trouble against this place, when this place is falling from the economy or whatever reason, they're going to be right there waiting. they ready. The Lord making them ready. They're going to be against her round about. All right. You got a depression lingering behind the recession that we're in right now. That's what America's in. <clears throat> And you got them provoking wars, which is causing energy crisis on their on their home soil. The debt is through the roof. You got the feds, the Euro Europe, the ten horns, one of the ten horns, hiking the interest rates, which is slowing down spending, which is basically like a um, self-inflicted recession. All right, so you can go on and on. So this place is done. But once it finally stops circling the drain and it collapses, they're going to be right there waiting round about. The Lord going to make sure that, you know, people like North Korea, China, R Iran, Russia. Against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. See, America was the main one that was pushing the nukes out in the 1950s until Russia started... Um, Russia started showing off their nukes, doing nuclear tests in the 1950s, and America was showing theirs in the 1920s, 1930s. <clears throat> All right, then they, sh they shot it off in World War II, the atom bomb. And then, um, so now, since they've shown that power, they got to be matched on that level or more. And that's what the Lord is creating. The, all these nations have ramped up their nuclear arsenal and technology. All for the Lord's judgment. Again, him that bendeth, against him that bendeth, let the archer bend his bow. And him represents the thief. All right, Esau, America. And against him that lifteth himself up in his brigadine, 
all right, so, and spare not her young men, destroy ye her utter, utterly all her host, man. So they're not going to spare the, the, what they call the American army, these celebrities. They don't care about none of that. As you can see, all right, these nations just worrying about themselves right now and their allies. All right, so the Lord said the one that's lifting themselves up in their brigadine, that's America lifting themselves up, boasting because of their armor, because of their defense systems and the uh, ICBMs, you know, but now these nations have been um, uh, lifted up, prepared, all right, through the helps of Russia and China. The Most High prepared them, according to Ezekiel 38, be thou prepared in all that army, all that host. They've been passing technology back and forth, man, all these nations, and now they're ready. The proxy nations are, are, are boasting against uh, major nations, man. P uh, power, um, uh, what do they call them? World powers, which is America. So it's being brought down, man. All right, Joel 3 um, and 9. Proclaim ye this among the, among the Gentiles, man. People like North Korea. Prepare war, wake up the mighty men. See, they're preparing for war. All these nations are being woken up. Their armies, uh, missile exercises, military exercises like China doing. Wake them up. Let all the men of war draw near. See, let them come up so they are getting ready for war. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. See, they put less money into their agriculture and um, economy. They put more war and more money into war, just like Russia did for 10 years. And they prepared these missiles in the waster that the Lord has uh, set up with AI technology as well. Beat your plowshares into swords and your pruning hooks into spears. That's why North Korea keep talking about these missiles, man. ICBM missiles. Let them let the weak say, "I am strong, man." See, and the weak nations are saying it now. All right, because they back they got they got allies with China and Russia. So they saying it. They're like, "Yo, we they ready to go to war with America," and 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 not only that, they say they ready to disintegrate South Korea with ICBM missiles, nukes. And what the Lord said, this war shall be fought with burning and fuel of fire. No country can go over there saying, let's throw them hands. That's a Jake level. <laughs> let me throw them hands, I'll shoot you. Go over there with a AK-47. Yeah, okay. They shoot missiles. All right. Um, Joel 3 and uh, 11, assemble yourselves. See, they all being assembled. All right, because that because the the time of trouble for America is at the door. Also going to be the Jacob's trouble for uh, Israel. Assemble yourselves, so the nations are assembling as America's fallen, and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about. Thither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord, man. So the Lord gonna send his angels. All right, in the midst of that. So yeah, man, this prophecy coming to pass. <laughs> 